It is an ancient faith, one steeped in mystery and symbolism, one that has been celebrated for thousands of years. It is entrenched in faith, tradition, and history, a religion that requires the use of all the senses to fully recognize and know God is within and around all those who practice. The faith is Orthodox Christianity, a religion that plays a powerful role in the lives of those who encompass the body of the church today. It is their anchor. The people built the church, and the church is the pillar of the community. All the Greek people, the church becomes their life. It's sort of something that anchors you. It's something that you always have to fall back on, and it's something that kind of guides you. I think that you can never separate the uh, Greek from the um, orthodoxy. Any church in any community is also the cord that connects the orthodox and the Greek. I need to come to church. I need to see the icons. I need to sing. I need to smell the incense. I need to hear the bells. It's just a sensual way of praying. To me, when I go to church, it's very peaceful for me. I feel peace. It's our connection with God, and that's, that's so important in our lives. There are just stories. Every one of the stained glass windows has a story. Every one of the icons has a story. So it comes alive, and there is so much around you. And this one is especially. They look up and they see the Pantocrator up there. I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. It's just the most wonderful place to be. In worship, Orthodoxy upholds history, revealing the events from the life of God on earth and the life of the church. History is at the root of Orthodoxy's conviction that it is the first Christian church. An uninterrupted historical and theological progression traces its history back to Christ. You'll see bumper stickers that say Orthodox Christianity founded in 33 AD. That, that's a bit of a bold statement, but essentially, as we understood the apostolic succession, we would look at the time that Christ left us and empowered the apostles to take over as the beginning of the Orthodox Christian faith. So I think in this day and age, there are over 25,000 denominations of Christianity, but it all started with the one.